Both teams playing for high stakes then at 10 8 to 8 7, 68 to 55. Salmon goes up against Madden and kick it gets the ball to half forward. Anderson has to backtrack. Meldrum over Rennett. Anderson caught by Verbeek. Off the ground by Kickett. Sheedy asking for some inspiration and Kickett may be able to provide it in short bursts. Well, their future relies on this 30 minutes of footy, Bruce. It's such a crucial quarter. They've made it hard for themselves. And Bond back into the action, Bruce, after suffering a heavy knock in the third quarter. Yes, he and Sexton both going off and uh, Flood going off for Essendon. Wanganeen's kick was smothered. Salmon goes to ground, then paddles it forward. Anderson gets a quick kick away to Derek Kickett. Lines them up, drop punt. Is this a goal? It is. And he did provide a little bit of magic. At 10-8 to 9-7. He's had a fairly quiet day statistically, only uh, 10 touches, 8 kicks, 2 handballs, that's a critical goal. He's been on the bench a bit, he's found it hard to get into the game, but this one here, the kick coming out from the spray tackle, and uh, a good finish there, and a bit of pressure there by Derek Kickett. That's the 8th uh, person to kick a goal for Essendon. The leading goal scorer on the ground is Peter Satori, who's kicked 4. 34,500 fans here at the headquarters of the AFL. Justin Madden can't become untangled at all. It's interesting at uh, three-quarter time there, Jared saying that uh, Kevin Sheedy is looking to his senior players, his veterans, to get them the lift. I would have thought the, uh, the mid-range players, the ones with the younger legs, and those that uh, have just as much responsibility, should also be looked at. Kickets, Buicks, and those sorts of players. Madden and Salmon. Salmon gets the tap out. Wallace, opportunity for Verbeek, left foot kick by that player to the wing, David Kernahan, the chaser is Hills, Kernahan gathers and gets back onto the favoured right foot and kicks it 40 metres towards the Carlton goal, but no one home back there, Harvey marks over Bassett, transfers play to centre half back where Salmon marks, handball over the top, Terry Danaher, certain amount of urgency crept into the uh, Essendon game now, Meldrum, kick it again from centre half forward, kick it goes for goal, he gets onto the torpedo punt kick, on the goal line it's not touched, it's another goal of Essendon Kick it's got his second goal and there's only one point the difference That's the sort of mercurial stuff that Derek Kickett can provide here, we watched the score coming through, good tackle by Wanganee and the flick coming out from Meldrum that's the reason why Derek Kickett won a stand up medal in Perth, even though it was taken off him through suspension, but he was a clear winner that year. And a very good player. Well, the Bobber fans delirious, and Kickett has provided the magic to put them back to square one, just a point behind. Watson, clever. Anderson. The handball along from 50 metres. It's a great kick. Scores 11. 10 8 apiece. Got the ball out of the centre, haven't they, Ross? Well, the, the, the breaks were going uh, Carlton's way. The most part of the game now is just swinging around. Dorotic, I get the feeling that uh, Carlton will want to slow things up now and stop this onslaught. Salmon and Madden. The handball over the top by Hills. Watson pays a path for kick, kick it. Misses long. Buick. Watson. Left foot to put Essendon in front. He has done that. The captain puts the bombers in front. 11-8 to 10-8. And a couple of very quick hands there. Buick and handball here. We watch this. Hills the fellow initially. We watch this little quick handball by kick it through the legs. And another quick one. Quick pick up by Buick. Over to Watson and what a good finish. He loves a left foot kick at goal as Tim Watson. And didn't let his team down. It's the first time today that they've been in front. Well, remarkable, isn't it? David Parker and uh, Mike Fitzpatrick, amongst others. A goal the difference. What a start to this last quarter by Essendon. They are playing for their future in 1991 finals. And they've produced it so far. Can the Blues come back? No, Mark. No, play, 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 play on. Don't play called play off, off the boot. Off the boot, is it? Yes. Certainly held it long enough. Matthew's striving to get through. Now Justin Madden. 
kicks Carlton up towards half forward. Satori, punched away by Wallace, goes back towards centre half forward. Cavied on, crashes past that tackle, gets his right foot to the ball. It's all Essendon back there on the last line of defence, and Wallace marks for the Bombers. Carlton player, uh, supporters screaming for the player to move it on, but he took his time and found Kranzberg wide in the back pocket. That's a good kick. O'Donnell running with the flight of the ball, backs himself, bounces once and kicks Essendon all of a sudden up towards half forward. Dean misses it. One of his rare errors for the afternoon. And he didn't recover well though. Ball, though. He missed it, but he dived back very quickly and got hands on it and hold it in there. Essendon lead by one goal. They've kicked three goals at the start of the last quarter. Punched away by Dean, close to the boundary line. Wanganeen, too quick there for Melbourne and gets away and kicks Essendon up to the goal front. Getting back as Dorotic, and he'll take it over for a boundary throw-in in the left forward pocket for the Bombers. Well, they got the ball the length of the ground pretty quickly. Dean Wallace, just a few minutes ago, marking on the last line of defence, and now in a, on a heavy ground, when all players are tired, it's in Essendon's left forward pocket. Justin Madden in front, Simon from behind. James gets it for Carlton. With the left foot, kicks it out the half back and caddied on marks. Half back flank, no one to kick it to. Eston have got the numbers back there, not a really good percentage play. Kranzberg marks over Matthews. And looking to play on was Terry Danaher, but Kranzberg will take it. And now he gives the hand pass away to Danaher. Danaher kicks it in towards the centre where Ezard marks. He slipped the tag of Dean. He kicks it towards half forward. It's an ordinary kick. Brown chips in. Handball is good. James, in turn to Dorotic, must do something with this. And he does, he finds Bradley loose at half forward. No one up in the forward line, two on two back there. Bradley goes into the pocket, it's not a bad kick, and it's a good mark taken by Glascott in front of Wallace, and Dean Wallace is not too happy with himself. No one home, Glascott goes to the vacant goal front, kicks it long, and kicks it with penetration, but no accuracy, and he misses to the right. Lascott has kicked two behinds in the Carlton scoreline of 10-9. They trail by five points. And Tommy Elvin's in trouble, Jared. Yes, so it's very difficult to hear you here, Robbo, because the crowd's erupted down here. But evidently, yeah, there's a problem with his chest, and I'd suspect broken ribs. Well, that's uh, bad news for the Blues and for Tom. He's a five-point game here. Centre wing, Danaher in the front spot, Ratton. Meldrum, still the Blues come forward. Bassett to Meldrum again. High one. Satori, outnumbered. Salmon, gee, that was nearly a throw. But to uh, Isa. Johnston. Out of trouble again. Verbeek, Anderson gets a free kick. In the back. Yeah, he used his body. If he had hit him with the side, it was all right, but he got him in the back. Greg Anderson. 11 kicks to date, this will be his 12th. Doesn't get a lot of distance, and David Kernahan takes the mark. And the Blues have led all day except for this charge the Bombers made at the beginning of the final turn. Oh, good mark to Bassett. Still dangerous, the Blues here. Satori on a long lead. Dean sits and waits. Pops and stops, goes again, gets tangled up, Meldrum, Dean, can steady now, kick it towards Cavadon, Kranzberg with it. Stopper here at Waverley, Bradley pushed off the football, James gets it wider, Bassett, done pretty well Bassett, left foot kick the full forward, Satori can't mark, he's got it, can he break the tackle, Wallace good, kept the pressure on nicely. Deep in that half-back flank area, gets the handball away to Johnston. Johnston's left foot kick to the wing. And it's a Carlton mark. And Kernahan, I think you're a little fortunate, because I'm sure your hands were in a little bit in the back of your wrestling opponent. David Kernahan's kick to the 50-metre line. No mark. Wallace comes through. Tackle by Glasgow. Away to Terry Danaher. Handball to Wanganu. Still Essendon, irrepressible. Danaher in his 300. The floating kick to half forward. No mark taken. Chance now for McMullen. He's caught with the football. Magic. Anderson. Advantage is paid. Where will this bounce? It's bouncing to the goal front. And it goes at right angles. Dean. Buick. Good play. Dean gets up to his feet. And well done, Peter Dean. He repels that Essendon attack and finds Dorothy deep at half back. Well, not only did he repel, he kicked it superbly.
superbly, really. Beautiful. There's Dorotic to centre wing. Justin Madden with a fly at the back. Phillips and also O'Donnell. Gee, pick a winner, Ross Glenn Dilling from here. 75 to 74. Not the best side of win. Well, there's nothing in it at all. Absolute thriller. No wonder he won a brown low. At <laughs> diplomacy or what? Salmon to Hills. True centre wing. Sweeps it towards Simon Madden. He's had two opponents. Surely that was a push in the back to Dean. His kick it. Will he do it again? Will he put the bombers back in front? No. Well, that was unbelievable. It was two goals earlier. He never looked like making a mistake, did he? And then... It's often the case, though, Robert, isn't it? He's missed by, what, seven metres, yeah. Ross? Well, he is mercurial. It's easier, those kicks. Here's Hannah from the back pocket. A bit of a let-off for Carlton. Hannah's kick goes long. Out to outside 50 metres. Bradley's kick is to the advantage of James. James, short kick. Cavied on Cartmar. Kranzberg at the back. Bassett has the football. Kranzberg in there. And the umpire will call for a ball up. Just forward of centre wing in Carlton's attack in half. The Blues lead by a point. It's been a fantastic game of football. A very good crowd here at Waverley. Threatening weather. But we've got away with it so far. Cavidon's tap down. Looking for Phillips. O'Donnell. Bradley. Long handball. Meldrum. Bounced nicely for Paul Meldrum. Left foot kick to half forward. Matthews can't mark. His recovery's not bad. Gets the handball to Ratton. He's tackled well. Still the ball to be won. Brown Shepherd for Justin Madden. Justin Madden's left foot kick. Wide to half forward. The bouncing ball awkward for Watson. Out comes Glascott. Still there to be won. Brown there. Taps it to Glascott's advantage. Glascott. Left foot kick goes 20 metres towards the Carlton goal. Chance for Matthews. Diving on it as Harvey. And surely the umpire will have to call for a ball up. Both sides supporters screaming for a free kick. And I'm sure Mark Harvey liked it if he'd have been given the advantage there but the umpire will ball it up about 30 metres, maybe a little closer to the Carlton goal Salmon, Satori Ratton Satori, to Satori three goals to Cavidon and on the other side of the ledger, Kicket has kicked two and Madden, Simon Madden has kicked two for Essendon kick off the ground by O'Donnell the race is on Hills have bounced nicely, Fraser Brown there but Hills able to get around onto the left foot Kicks it high in towards the centre. And a good, gutsy mark taken there by Gary O'Donnell in front of Bond. He plays on quickly. Kicks it to half forward. Hannah can't mark. Helping out as Melbourne. He kicks to a vacant wing position. Bassett and Kickett. Kickett gets to the front. The ball close to the boundary line. Kickett keeps it in. Wanganeen. Well done. Kickett, right foot. Up towards full forward. Dorotich can't mark. Bradley playing handballs it to himself. Kicks it off the ground and kicks a goal. Unbelievable stuff. Two goals to Bradley playing. And this game has just got everything. It's fantastic here to see both Kickett and Wanganee not to concede the ball going out of bounds. A couple of clever taps resulted in Kickett there kicking on that right foot. Dorotich a valiant effort here and playing. Looking for a free kick. What about this freakish kick here? Almost like the jacket which went out of the air a couple of weeks ago. Fantastic stuff. Plane, who just came on for McMullen, has kicked a miracle goal. Well, as Robbo said, this match has got the lot. James, the handball. Phillips, Satori, not a good kick. Glasgow goes to ground. Wallace, Satori keeps the pressure on. The Wallace handball was not all that good. Terry Danaher and his 300. Wouldn't he like to win this one? Cransburg. O'Donnell with a run, a bounce. And the kick to Harvey. A good one. Just a point in it. Harvey to Buick, who's got great skill, lines him up, goes for them, and kicks it very well. It's with under 12 minutes left. Critical set of bounces coming up. Phillips gets Carlton out towards half forward. Mark is taken there by Matthews. Can the Blues fight back again? Brown's kick up to 50 metres. And the mark is taken by Sartori. Brown running into the pocket. He's on his own. No, he can't kick it to him because getting back quickly eventually was Hills. 
Satori. What's he going to do? Have a shot for goal. He's too far out, I think. He's kicked five. Fancies his chances and kicks it through for a behind. So five goals, three to Peter Satori. Essendon lead by four points. 13-8 to 12-10. And what a game of football it's been here at Waverley. As you can see there, just under 11 minutes left. And Kranzberg kicks into the far side. Sam in the target and finds him. 50. Yes, not good play, Justin Madden. Very untidy. He just conceded front position there too easy. And then just very casually pushed Sam in the back. That's just critical stuff. Gee, and uh, lost 50 metres at this time of the match and under these conditions. Well, Salmon can kick the ball long distances and he'll get up to uh, Simon Madden here and they're a chance. Yes, it's like giving away two kicks. Well, it is. Two free it? positions. Oh, word. They've been so hard to come by. Squares it to centre-half forward to Simon Madden. Dorotich goes with him. Ratton, Meldrum with a bit of skill, takes a chance. Then goes to Satori with a good kick. Now Glascott's one out in the goal square. He's going to go to Glascott in the pocket. It's another good kick. He's missed two Glascott from this position. He's not a really long kick, David Glascott. He's a reliable kick, but he's not a really long kick. And as he's got older, I think his distance is probably lessened. Well, 45 metres out to put the Blues in front. The drop punt, he's missed it. So Carlton have had two set shots from a fair way out and they get back within three points. Three points to uh, Glasgow himself. And it's 12-11 to 13-8 as Kranzberg brings the ball back in. And he kicks it to the near side. Glasgow punches it back. The kicker is there for Essendon. Right foot by that player. No one home for the Bombers. Madden taps it down. The advantage is with Brown. Goes to Phillips. Back to Madden. Madden's kick magnificently smothered by Hills, picked up by Glasgow. Marking contest at the goal front. Danaher well tackled by Matthews. James in there for Carlton. And the umpire will call for a bounce. And boy, what a magnificent physical contest it's been. Both players, both teams, giving absolutely everything. It was a great tackle there by Matthews. Going right down to the line. Essendon lead by three points with nine minutes left. Umpire Cameron bounces the ball. Cavidon tries to get the tap out. Danaher's in the action. And he handballs it over the boundary line. And umpire Cameron says, throw it in. Boundary umpire Green. There's Terry Danaher playing his 300th game. What a Trojan. Simon Madden back there in defence. Gets in front. Picked up by Bradley. What can the magician do? A screw kick goes through for another behind. It was the only option he has because Long had closed him down on the right-hand side. Essendon by two points. Watson now to bring it back in. Looks for some options. Something short or long here. Just not certain. You can see the dilemma. Decides to thump it with a long one. O'Donnell versus Phillips. O'Donnell taps it on about 10 metres. And still in play. Wanganin. Cransberg to Wanganin again, who provides some run here. The short kick is a good one to play. Playing quickly goes on. Isa, round the body. Salmon and Dorotic. It bounces, sticks in the mud. Dorotic cleverly. Hannah, happy to see it run out. As playing comes in from the side. It was well done by Dorotic there, a clever kick. Kept it on the ground, and even Hannah then just put the ball on the ground in front of him carried over the line. Well, Kevin Sheedy knows what's at stake more than any of us. The Bombers, with a tough run home, need to win here. Verbeek, Bradley, Bond, Carlton work it to Ratton, swings it wider to Bradley, who can go away and take a run. Usually a long kick, this one towards centre-half forward, at the back. Well, Harvey at the back was James. Danaher, his 12th kick and his 300th. Meldrum. Phillips. Left foot. Satori to take the mark. A loose ball. Hills. 
stops, drops, shrugs a tackle, goes over the top. Yes, Fox and Hills, and Hills kicks it wide. Half forward flank on this member side. Wallace got the football. David Kernahan looking for the free kick, and he's going to get it. Yep. Not a quick enough effort there by Wallace to get the ball out from under him. He was stalling. Penalised. Under seven minutes left. Essendon by two points. David Kernahan short. Bassett marks. Player in the set is Melbourne. All on his own. He spotted him. It might be a little too late. Melbourne goes after him. Hannah helps out. Got the ball. Get the handball away. Madden falls over. Plain well done, Bradley Plain. Down goes Plain from a Bassett smash. He comes long. Kick the full forward. Sammy. Was that a critical slip there by Justin Madden? Ooh. It was probably Hannah not being able to break the tackle. Well, Hannah actually had the opportunity to handball to uh, one of his teammates going past him, but he continued on and uh, took the ball against the flow. Salmon's kicking from about 45 metres out. This is about his uh, maximum too, uh, Ian. So test him. Well, I don't think he'll have any trouble with the distance. Well, he gets underneath it, kicks it high to the goal line. No mark taken. Free kick picked out, but it's advantage pay. Phillips clears for Carlton to the wing. Eston have got two on one. Hills. Brown does well. Still got the football and dispossesses the Eston player. And Carlton will get a free kick, courtesy of Burpee. He plays on. Brown, you're caught. You are gone. Absolutely. Still, it's a winnable position. O'Donnell held, but he didn't have it. And O'Donnell will take the free kick. And he handballs it wider still to Johnston from centre wing, a long one, Dean underneath it, Bradley, the handball to Hannah, under pressure, can't break the tackle, Wanganeen, Madden calls for a free kick, five minutes left, two point game, there's Salmon and Madden, she's that extra step by Fraser Brown, what a critical and one, and he'd done so well oh, also, look, Brown against two the players, is great, that's right, just running out of luck taking too long he was exhausted the two big men go at it Dean gets a quick kick Bassett the handball now Anderson with a long one to the goal square Dorotich and Wallace it's a behind 13-9 to 12-12 with four and a half minutes to go a change coming up Ratten off and Sexton back on again after his stitches. And Robbo, Carlton have got to kick the next goal. It's as simple as that. No doubt about it. David Kernahan's kick in is magnificent. Straight up the centre. Bassett can't quite get away with the football. Justin Madden leans over the top of it. And the umpire will call for a bounce. It's at uh, wide of centre half forward in Essendon's attacking half. Just four minutes left. Can the Bombers cling on? It's been a terrific contest in great spirit. The tap down. Buick, Bond the chaser, Buick taps it to himself, Bond does well, he's still got the football though Bond, now it comes out the back somehow to Long, Long shoots to the goal front, Salmon and Doritich, Doritich taps it to the back, Wallace leaves it and it goes over for boundary throwing, but that will help the Bombers because it's in their forward pocket and seconds ticking away. Well what a contest it's been, 87-84. Salmon, Madden against him, Plain, Wallace run out in the goal square, tries something unbelievable, will this go through, no, out on the full, how did that go I know that that went out on the full, well he dashed over there, his experience Robert, Peter Dean to bring it back in, Carlton needs some clean possessions here, they need a thrust into attack, Madden, off the ground by Phillips, can the Blues win the ball, Matthews, good tackle by Danaher, no free kicks coming here, Hannah, it goes to Terry Danaher, back to full forward, Dean sets himself, loose ball, Dean's with it, across the face, David Kernahan, Salmon with him, Kernahan plays it in front, but they lose it, he's up. 13, 10 to 12, 12. Peppering the goal, Essendon with two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Dorothy.
Miletic handing the ball back to David Kernahan. And surely David Kernahan must kick straight up the ground. Verbeek's giving him the lead, but he's gone straight up the centre of the ground. And it's no mark taken. Dean tries to get it to Phillips. Phillips not bad. Melbourne. Handball wide to Hannah. Doesn't mind running with the football. Gets back onto the right. Must kick it wide and must kick it long. But he picks out the Essendon player, Fransburg, and he marks it half back. just went right across the flow of play. Glass could have given him a great lead from Phil Ford. Should have gone long down the left-hand side. And it was the possession that Carlton needed. Now Verbeek. He's got a player in the pocket. Loose, it's Bradley. Must play on. Handball over the top. Cabbied on. Can he manufacture something? The pass is good. Glasgow's got it. And we've got one minute 40 left. If David Glasgow kicks a goal, the Blues are in front by two points. He had an option too, Glasgow. He had to turn quickly. He had Melgen free in the middle of the ground. Oh, would he give it away, Ross? At well, this he was clear stage? enough if he had to turn around quickly. He's kicked three behinds. Oh, he's gone. Giving it away to Bradley. Fransberg over the top box. Surely Essendon will hang on now. Bomber supporters ecstatic. Cranberg kicks long. Out there on his own is O'Donnell. And he's the Bombers well. will waste time. He's lifted well, O'Donnell. He's picked up Phillips and really run him around. Loose players now. Wanganeen. From half back inside the last minute. O'Donnell. Possession football as the seconds tick away as Carlton played its last hand to Watson. A bounce. Cransburg. Long kick. Carlton need a mark desperately. Dorotic provides it. It's been steady. 30 seconds to go. There's still time. Meldrum. Well played Harvey. Maybe not now. Long should use it well and he does to Anderson. 20 seconds to go. And this great contest is about to come to a close. Anderson takes a chance. Wide to Ezar. Short to Wanganeen. And that's the ball game. That is it. CD, it's a great sign. Puts the foot